All right, so now we're gonna start doing the RJ45 jacks. Now, if you see here on this side here, RJ45 uh, 5E Cat 5E connection has two types, Cat A and B. So right now we're doing type B. So in order to get connection for this, we have to follow the line. So the first color is orange. Then the second color is white orange. The next is green, and then white green. Then the other side is basic simple. You have to do it, crimp it with this order to get type B connection. Not all RG45, RG45 jacks are created equally. Some will come in this and different kind of instructions or designs, color schemes. This will come in many various forms as connections, but if you buy from other places, I got this at Micro Center here in Marietta, Georgia. They sell this common, this common jack right here. So just um, keep that in mind when you actually are crimping down the wire. Okay, great. Continue up your. All right. Now we're gonna install, get the order of connection carefully. So the first thing you need to do is twist the, the untwisted pair that is on this cable. Start with the orange one, and then the green, so. And make sure you have enough space so that way when you crimp it down that you have enough space you can move the wires around. If it's too close to it, it'll be hard to crimp enough cable connection. So here, the first color is gonna be orange. So make sure, and again, you can purchase this anywhere at eBay, Micro Center, Amazon. So use this, punch it down, and Follow this. This side here on the edge has to go on the end, so that way it'll cut any loose wires. So when we do it, you should here. You have to be careful of this. When you do it, you'll hear a sound saying, this will be loose. Just remove that out that piece, and there you have your first connection. I'm gonna start with the other, and then follow the color step by step. Be careful, this is sharp. Now we got orange done, so now we're working on green. Again, make sure you have enough space so that way when you have close enough, then you can put it close at the end, so. Be, yeah. Again, be careful with this, so. Cable connection is not that easy to do when you focus. So make sure you got every step followed. If you miss one, that means the connection will not be good. One wrong move and your RJ45 jack connection will be bad. So now I have the first, first half done and this is how this should be looking. Make sure, if you have any worries, double check, do it all over again if you want to make sure, to, if you have any concern that is the connection not going down all the way. Make sure to check to see the connections are all the way down sitting. And now, I'll do the rest. Untwist like so. Make sure you have enough um, cable to punch down. So before, there we go, there we go. Make sure to double check the color to see everything is right in order.
which I'm about to do. I'm going to show it to everybody. After this connection, we're going to test it to see if the connection works fully well. All right. Well, like my friend Abdur have said to me, and I hope everyone is listening to double check. We got the brown here, the white brown, the solid blue, and the white blue. Now, we can actually punch down. And voila. And now we're actually gonna test our potentially finished product. We have a cable tester. Our doer has the other end connected, so we're gonna connect this onto the cable right here to see everything is working up to par before we put the face plate and move on. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's working fine. Great. Well, everything's fine. And now we can actually um, put the face plates and we're done. All right. So now we have our face plate here. So in order to install it, remember the bottom piece here from the bottom here, push it down inside then pinch it inside. And there we go. We have our cover. And if you want to remove it, simply press this button up, push it up, and remove it, then release. So now we're gonna install it again, flat down, push it down, pinch it down, and there we go. And then you can use the drill bits and then drill it inside the hole. Make sure you have enough wire space because when you do some projects, you need uh, wire spaces so that way you can properly start, properly have enough space so you can cut it and edit it. And you can just push it back just in case you want more extra space, just in case if the cable gets damaged. Now we are going to press properly, carefully mount it. Use drills. Make sure you don't drill it too tight. Yes. All right. Cable connection. So we're done with the um, tutorial. And if you have any comments, you can leave comments on the bottom. And if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions about any concerns that you have, any projects that you want us to be engaged with, our number is area code 770-702-0270. And check out our website. UniversalITTechnologies.com. All right. See you next time, guys. Thank you.